Hi and welcome to Drummer's Review. I'm Nolly and today we're going to be looking at a Ludwig New Sonic shell pack. The New Sonic is the first US built Ludwig kit to retail in the UK at less than £2,000 and is aimed at the working professional who wants the Ludwig sound in a workhorse package. The New Sonic shells feature six ply construction with three outer plies of maple and three inner plies of cherry. The particular configuration we have here today is a 22 by 16 inch bass drum, 12 by 8 inch rack tom, and a 16 by 16 inch floor tom, all finished in aspen white. Accompanying the shell pack, but not included in today's review, we have a 14 by 8 inch standard maple snare drum and a set of Ludwig's lightweight flush based hardware. The retail price for the new Sonic shell pack is £1,436, but looking around, we've seen that the street price seems a bit closer to £1,250. With all of that in mind, let's take a deeper listen and come back for some discussion points afterwards. Our honest initial impression of this kit is we thought it might fall into the intermediate sub £1,000 category. The matte white look is very smart, but between some visible blemishes on the shells, the use of cheap budget Remo heads, and some fairly flimsy bass drum spurs, we were a little bit disappointed to find out how expensive it was. All of the finishes available for the new Sonic shells are matte block colours, and this lends a rugged, slightly modern look, yet offset with a classic Ludwig hardware, and the Keystone style badges, it's quite a versatile look that we think could fit into quite a few different situations. Our review kit came set up with the factory Taiwanese made Remo UT series drum heads with single ply coated over clear combinations on the toms and a power stroke style setup on the bass drum. The unported bass drum immediately made us grin with a huge resonant note and long sustain. From the player's perspective, there's loads of low end, but there's still enough attack that articulation is maintained at all times. Moving on to the rack tom, we found it quite hard to pigeonhole the sound it had. In some ways, in, in the mid-range and overtones, there's a slightly vintage quality, but especially as you hit it really hard, it takes on a more modern attack. The drum did have a nice warm note to it and responded well across all dynamic levels, not choking when you hit it at full velocity. We should note that the factory head required a lot of attention to maintain in tune, and the rich character that it had in the beginning disappeared quite quickly within not very much playing at all. Unfortunately, we felt that the floor tom didn't really ever come to life for us. It had quite a papery attack and a lack of depth that was a bit surprising given its dimensions. It just never really seemed to find its space in the sonic spectrum, especially alongside such a huge and thunderous sounding bass drum. Again, too, we found that tuning the stock heads was no easy task with the floor tom slipping out of tune very quickly. 
It has to be said that these are probably the worst performing heads we've encountered on Drummer's Review to date, and we did feel like they substantially held back the performance of especially the toms during the review period. We feel though that if you were to switch out these heads for appropriate premium level heads from any of the major manufacturers, you'd find that these drums really stepped up a level in terms of sound and performance. Unfortunately, the build quality of these shells is not up to the standard that we'd expect for a professional level kit at this price point. Close visual inspection of the shells shows up multiple blemishes, the seams are not very cleanly executed, and little details like the fact that the bass drum hoop is completely unprotected against the metal claws where they normally have a rubber insert, all add up to a general package that's just not quite as refined as we'd like to see on a kit of this level. The shell hardware all around is serviceable, if a little bit light in weight, and the Rackton mount performed well, not seeming to cut out much of the sustain at all of the drum when mounted, although it did take quite a hefty tighten to ensure it didn't slip out of place during use. Thinking about the sonics of this kit and the kinds of players it might appeal to, I feel like this is a well-judged mix of classic and modern, and I can certainly see it becoming a trusty secondary kit for gigging drummers, especially those that want a kit that's going to look really good on stage and probably keep looking good even if it does take a few scuffs on the road. Of course, being an iconic brand, Ludwig does have a large and faithful following, and within that following I can imagine that perhaps older players who want a lighter weight, simple kit might enjoy what the new Sonic has to offer. This review probably comes across quite negative, but we feel that a big part of that is to do with the price point that this kit lands at in the UK. Comparing to the street prices that we see from major retailers in the USA, it seems that it goes for nearly half the price that we pay here in the UK, and at those kinds of prices we'd be giving this much more of a thumbs up. As it stands though, with this price point being extremely competitive, and especially given that if you were to throw in a couple of extra hundred quid you could probably get yourself a vintage Ludwig that performs well and maintains its value, we're really interested to see just how well the new Sonic fares. We really hope you've enjoyed this review of the Ludwig new Sonic shell pack, but please leave us a comment to let us know what you think too. Don't forget to subscribe for more content, and I'll see you next time at Drummer's Review.